Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Hydroponic growing is one of the most fun method of growing plants indoors, especially this time of the year because it's so cold outside that nothing will grow. So you can do a lot of stuff indoor and uh, not only is hydroponic fun to do, it's also very, very easy. So uh, today I'm going to show you how easy it is to grow plants indoor in hydroponic and uh, enjoy uh, your harvest throughout the entire season. So you don't need any special equipments uh, like systems and all that, but you do need artificial light. So uh, you have to um, provide the plants with some kind of artificial light. And the best kinds are uh, some kind of LED grow lights like this one here. This particular system here is a grow light by Hidden Harvest Company. It's a very lightweight, uh, small unit that is very neat and it works great. Um, just one light is all you need for a good size, like a two by two tent. And if you have like a, a larger one, like me, this is a four by two, then you can use two lights and that should be enough. So uh, I'm going to show you uh, what I'm doing here. You see this system right here? It's actually really not a system. It is a Ziploc bag that I'm using to grow hydroponic. And you may be wondering why that um, I'm not getting any algae. It's because I'm doing this in my garage and algae requires a, a certain uh, temperature uh, in order to grow and thrive. But because my garage is uh, in the 50s, and with that, the nutrients is, is even cooler. So I think the temperature in here may be in the low 50s. So it is a little bit too cold for algae to grow. So this method works great um, for your garage or um, any space that you have that is cool, but not too cold that the plants cannot grow. So, uh, and romaine, is one of the best uh, variety of lettuce or any plants to grow because uh, they don't mind temperature in the 50s uh, Fahrenheit. So um, that is what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna show you how to grow romaine inside Ziploc bags. And um, you can actually have a, a system. I mean, just use your imagination. Uh, you can see here, I have two plants growing inside rockwood cubes and uh, in just a small bag. So you can have like a, uh, a tray if you like, and then you can put rock wool just sitting in that tray, just like what I have right here, like this system here. Make it bigger, uh, something like that, and then drop some rock wool in there, and then drop some nutrients. And nutrients is probably the, uh, the more challenging part for some of the newer people but I'm gonna show you how to mix it and it's very, very simple. So uh, don't be intimidated by hydroponic. It is very, very easy. Okay, so what you would need is of course a grow light. Um, you can visit Hidden Harvest Company if you like and check this out. They also have a YouTube channel, so follow them. Uh, they're doing some amazing stuff. And you would need uh, a grow space, like a tent or anything like that and uh, your garage or somewhere. <laughs> you can do it inside as well, but uh, when you do it inside a place where it's warm, you may get algae to grow, so you, can, you might have to like clean it out. But if it's colder, like in the 50s uh, degrees Fahrenheit, uh, that should be fine, okay? So light, uh, a grow tent or any grow space, you would need some rock wool cubes right here. You can get these on Amazon. You don't have to use rock wool cubes. Uh, there's people that have um, problem with rock wool. They, they don't like it. Um, you know, it's up to you. So just, I'm not telling you to use it. That's, I'm just saying that's what I'm using. If you don't want to use rock wool cube, find another medium that works for you. Okay, and then you need a Ziploc bag and then some seeds. So what we're going to do first is we're going to get some rockwood cube and we're gonna soak it in water and we're gonna get a Ziploc bag. And I've already done that so that I can cut down filming time. So I'm gonna show you that right now. All right, this is everything we need. A rockwood cube, I pre-soaked it in water. Uh, so the rockwood soaked up as much water as it can hold. Uh, there's nothing special in the water. It's just water right out of my faucet. So, and then I 
place it in the Ziploc bag. So I'm gonna put it right here, like so. And we're going to drop seeds in there. So let me move this out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. You see how it's so easy to move because it's so small and you can just move it somewhere else. All right, here we are. So we're going to expose the Rockwool Cube and we are going to drop some lettuce seeds in there. I have a gazillion lettuce seeds from the previous season, so that's what I'm gonna use. You can go to the store, Home Depot, or any other store that sells seeds. You can get a, a package and they'll come, they'll come with a ton of seeds. All right, here is my bag of seeds and I harvested this summer. So you see there, there are a ton of seeds. I don't really have a, a special way to preserve these guys. Lettuce seeds are just so tough. You can just leave it put in a bag like this and leave it inside your garage. It'll last for a few years. Trust me, I've done it. Okay, so I'm going to just pick some seeds. You see these are these fuzzies here. So underneath the fuzzies are gonna be some seeds. So I'm just gonna uh, look for one that is uh, kind of ready. Actually, any of those will work. So we'll, we'll just pull one, one of these here like that. And let me show you the seeds. That is my lettuce seeds right here. They 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 look just like um, uh, part of the plant. See, those are the seeds right there. They're very small. So all we have to do is take those seeds. And because I have so many, I can waste a few. And the center of the rock wool already has a hole right there. So I'm just gonna make sure it opens up like that and we're going to place a few seeds in you can put uh, two or three seeds more if you like uh, just to make sure you have something that would sprout and then we can just um, trim it out or cut it out later the ones that you don't need because we only need one plant per cell so the seeds are just tiny and if you just breathe on it they'll just fly off Okay, that should be enough. And I'm going to push the seeds down because it kind of need, it needs to make contact with the the water that's in the seeds here. I mean in the rockwood cubes here in order to sprout. Okay, so I'll, I'll close it up like that. Um, some people said that you shouldn't close it Trust me guys, I've done this a, a, a gazillion times. You can close it if you want. You don't have to close it. They will come out and they will poke right through. So um, it'll be fine. Okay, so that is it. Uh, you can close this up to give it a little bit of warmth like that. Just leave it like that. And in five to seven days, if your seeds are fresh, like, like the ones I have, I just harvested during the summer, uh, if you have the seeds from the store, uh, the, those may be a little older, so uh, they may take 7 to 10 days to sprout. Uh, mine are going to take about 3 days because that's how fresh they were. The last time I, I did this, it took 3 days. So um, um, we'll be back once they sprout it, and then I will show you what to do next. Alright guys, it has been exactly 3 days, and my lettuce sprouted. You see that over there? So there are a bunch of them and uh, we're going to leave it like that because uh, I'm going to let them grow a little bit more and then I will thin them out. So I'll probably going to keep just two just like the, the larger one here and that's what we're going to use to uh, show you guys how to grow in this uh, bag method. So uh, it's been three days and uh, if yours didn't sprout yet in three days just wait a few days more as I mentioned fresh seeds uh, sprout a lot faster so just uh, be a little bit patient all right guys their lettuce have been grown for nine days now and they have grown quite a bit so it is a little bit uh, past the point that I usually um, take them out or like pull them and thin them out so you see the the roots have already grown out right here so this time when you wait for the roots to uh, to grow like that uh, it's a little bit difficult to thin them and try to save them. 
So if you want to save them, uh, try to thin them out earlier because if you pull them up carefully, then you can grow them somewhere else. When the, when the roots are grown like that, it's a little bit more difficult, but you still can if you want to. So today we are going to thin these out and we're going to leave only one. So uh, I'm just going to yank them out. So I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so here are my plants. And we are going to just uh, save the biggest one and leave them in there. And then we're going to pull uh, the other two out. So let's see. See there? That one can still be grown somewhere else. So I'm going to do that. And we're going to thin this one out as well. See there? Okay, now we have just two plants and we're going to mix the nutrients and then we are going to add it to the bag and then watch them grow. So I'll show you how to mix the nutrients real quick and then we'll add it to uh, these plants. All right, guys, to mix the nutrients, what you're going to need is a gallon of water. That's usually how much I mix at a time. And I pre-fill the container with water right out of my faucet, so nothing special. Then you're going to need your hydroponic nutrients. Then you need pH down to adjust the pH in the water. Uh, this is a five milliliter drop right here. So you can use this or you can have a measure if you like and you need this um, pH meter to read the pH in your water. So the first thing we're going to do is measure. So usually out of my tap, the, uh, the water is around seven point something uh, pH, 7.6 or something like that. It's gonna keep climbing. So what you're gonna need to do is just uh, add the nutrients in first. So what we're gonna do now is take five milliliter from this We're gonna add it to this. So let me go ahead and shake it up real quick and then we'll we'll take the nutrients out Okay, here's my nutrients shake it up nicely and take five milliliter out which is about exactly one of this And then drop it in there And then we're going to close this up and shake it really well to disperse it all into the liquid. So next you need to measure the pH of your nutrients and then you're gonna add pH down to adjust it to around 5.9 or something around there because I know exactly how much my water is and how much to drop because I remember. So I'm just gonna drop it and then measure. And once you add the pH down, uh, shake it again to disperse it one more time. All right, so let's go ahead and see what our pH is. So it's around 5.84, which is perfect. So you want it around 5.9, 5, 5.8 5, or 6 is fine. Mm -hmm. So see how I remember how many drops to put in here uh, based on my water type. So it's a good idea to uh, do the same for you um, because sometimes your, your pH meter may go out. So it's best to remember how many drops you put in there. That way you get the same consistent pH every time, uh, even if your pH meter goes out. Okay, so that is it. That is how simple it is to make your nutrients. So let me summarize. First, you add water into container and then you add your nutrients. The, the nutrients may drop the pH. That's why you need to drop to, uh, to put it first before you test the pH. So once you add the nutrients, shake it up, make sure it's all dispersed well, and then add your pH and add it slowly because you don't want to over add and then you have to readjust. So just add it slowly and let it rest and sit, measure it. And uh, once you have it to around 5.9, 5.8 or 6 around there, it's perfect. So it's ready to use.
All right guys, so because we have some extra plants and I usually don't like to waste these plants. So what we're going to do is uh, add more plants to our grow bags. So uh, I have my rock wool cube here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it like this down the middle. And then we're going to just place them like that and then put them in a bag so that we can have more than a few plants to grow all right and now we are going to add our hydroponic nutrients and that is all we're gonna do You see, so our nutrients here is like right there below the rock wool cube. And that should be all you need to do. And then we'll leave our plants here and they, they should grow. And I think the one that, uh, uh, the roots were not damaged, the one that we didn't pull out, those will probably grow a little bit faster because these here we yank the roots out so we kind of like damage some of the roots so they're gonna have to spend some time trying to recover part of those roots that were missing and then they will grow so uh we'll come back soon and i will let you see how fast they grow and how well they will grow all right guys it has been exactly 22 days now since uh, we started seeds uh, to grow these plants here and you can see these over here, they are slightly larger than these because these are the ones that uh, we did not pull out of the rock wool because those are not the extra plants. These are the extra plants. So when we pull these out, um, I kind of damaged some of the roots and so they have to reestablish and start to grow some new roots to try to catch up. So that's why these two here are larger. But these are doing really well. They have established roots now. And so you can see their roots right there in the bag. So they're doing great. And in just 22 days, I think I said it's 22 days, that's how large they are. And if you have a warmer climate, uh, like in the, let's say, 60s to 70 degrees Fahrenheit, they will grow a little bit larger, faster, sorry, faster. But in my garage, it gets really cold at times. So they do um, grow a little bit slower when they're a little cooler. And um, you see these here, these larger ones here, I've been harvesting leaves to use. So anytime they get large, I just cut a few leaves. And then a few uh, days later, they'll grow the inner leaves. They get larger and then I'll harvest those. And then you just have like this continuous cycle of lettuce to use. And you see their system is very simple. I'm not using anything special. It's just Ziploc bags and uh, nutrients. And of course you need your light setup. So that is basically it. You need uh, hydroponic nutrients mixed uh, correctly. And then you, uh, any system really to use and they will work. So in a few weeks, they, these guys were here will get that big. And if you have uh, sort of like a, a system where you can grow a few every week, then you will have lettuce like the entire um, winter to use. And it's very fun because they grow so fast and then you can actually see it growing. So if you have children, they would love to, uh, to get involved because it's, it's very exciting to, to do these projects together. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoy the video and uh, there's really not much more to show you because these plants will just get bigger and they'll look like that. So that's basically it. So there, there's no point me of me uh, um, taking any longer in this video. So that is it guys. Um, make sure if you have any question, go and talk to Brad about his lighting system. This is a Hidden Harvest Company grow light. And if you have any questions regarding nutrient mix and stuff like that, you can leave it below and that is it. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe and uh, like the video if you like. And that is it. Thank you for watching.